hello guys welcome back to beast 20th notebook today is all about revising ortho so this video has all the keywords buzzwords all the name fractures and every other important terms that you need to know just before your exam let's get into the video number one is charcot joint it is seen in diabetic patients rat bite erosions or martelgy sign it is in gout swan neck deformity rheumatoid arthritis herbert and nodes and baucard nodes Herber and nodes are seen in distal interphalangeal joints and Baucard nodes are seen in proximal interphalangeal joints. It is seen in osteoarthritis. Canaval sign is stenosynovitis. Rugby or jersey finger is flexor tendon rupture. Whereas baseball or mallet finger is extensor tendon rupture. Dinofolk deformity seen in Coley's fracture. So we use handshaking cast also in Coley's. Glass holding cast is seen in scaphoid fracture. Cylindrical cast is used for patella fracture, while use slab cast is used in humerus fracture. This is a very important PYQ, tension band wiring. It is used for olecranon and patella fracture. Garden spade deformity seen in Smith fracture. Band cards and hill sacks lesion, it is seen in anterior shoulder dislocation. Modified coaches, uh, this is, there is a mnemonic called a steam where uh, traction is done first, then the external rotation, then adduction, then medial rotation is done. Knee classification is for proximal humerus fracture. Fishtail deformity is for distal end of humerus fracture. Milch classification is for lateral condyle of humerus fracture. Gunstock deformity uh, that is due to cubitus varus. It is seen in supracondylar humerus fracture. Gartland's classification is for supracondylar humerus fracture. Green stick fracture, we all know it is most common in children. Montagia, the proximal ulna fracture will be there along with radial head dislocation. Whereas in Galeazzi's fracture, distal radius will be fractured and radio ulna dislocation will be present. Bardo classification is for Montagia only. Boxer's fracture, it is in fifth metacarpal, while Bennett's and Rolando are in first metacarpal. The difference is Bennett's has two part and Rolando has three part. Barton's fracture, it is in radiocarpal dislocation. Potts fracture is bimalleolar, while cotton fracture is trimalleolar. Rana's fracture is for distal fibula, while toddler's fracture is spiral or tibial fracture, is seen in childhood. Hagland deformity, it is seen in calcaneum ankle joint. Hawkins classification is for neck of talus. Matson classification is for recurrent shoulder dislocation. Keenbock is lunate osteochondritis. While Osgood shalter is for tubial tuberosity osteochondritis. And Panos is for capitulum osteochondritis. March fracture is second metatarsal. Jones is fifth metatarsal. Dynamic hip screw is used in intertrochantic fracture. Shepherd's croup deformity is seen in polyosthotic fibrous dysplasia. McCune Albright syndrome consists of a triad of polyosthotic fibrous dysplasia, precocious puberty, and cafe alert spots (PPC). Chance fracture is a through and through fracture of vertebra. Brittle bone disease or Lobstein Brolic disease is also known as osteogenesis imperfecta. Patellar clunk syndrome involves the superior pole of patella. Hangman fracture is C2 to C3 subluxation. Cotton wool skull is seen in pages, while punched out laticulation is seen in multiple myeloma. Salt and pepper skull is seen in hyperparathyroidism. Hair on end appearance or the crew cut appearance is seen in thalassemia. Tram track skull is seen in Sturge Weber syndrome. Bamboo spine, dagger spine, and MRI, they are all seen in ankylosing spondylitis. Rugger jersey spine is seen in renal osteodystrophy. Cobb's angle is seen in scoliosis. Fish mouth spine, osteomalacia, more than osteoporosis. Milwork taste is for structural scoliosis. Bony ankylosis is TB spine, while fibrous ankylosis is TB hip or knee. Femester's triad. Periarticular osteopenia, erosions, and reduced joint space. Sequestrum, involucrum, cloaca, sinus, paprika sign are all seen in chronic osteomyelitis. Otherwise, sequestrum involucrum will also be seen in acute uh, osteomyelitis. Herbert screw is used for scaphoid fracture. 
Spanning fixator is for periarticular fracture, especially knee. Thomas splint is for shaft of femur fracture. Baller bronze splint is for skeletal traction of femoral shaft fracture. Minerva cast is for C1 to T3 injury. Figure of 8 bandage is for clavicle uh, fracture. Dunlop Smith traction is for supracondylar humerus fracture. Klippel Field syndrome. It involves Pringle deformity, fused C spine, low posterior handling, but short stature is not in the trial. Please remember this. Barton's disease, scurvy and rickets. Popoy sign, long head of biceps will be involved. Sudak osteoneurodystrophy is a late complication of Coley's fracture. Modified Schauber test is ankylosing spondylitis. Adam test is scoliosis. Modified Allen's test is to check the patency of palmar arch. Thomas test is for iliosovus contracture, whereas Thompson test is for Achilles tendon rupture. Phalange test, Dokken test, tenal sign, they are all seen in carpal tunnel syndrome. Barlow's and Otlani's test is seen in DDH, development dysplasia of hip. Finkelstein test is seen in Dequervin tenosynovitis. Anterior drawer test is for ACL tear, while Latchman is very specific for the acute ACL tear. Just comment below if you know what this posterior drawer test is for. Apple is grinding, McMurray test, they are all for meniscal tear. Odono triode, please comment down this as well because this has been asked numerous number of times. Sedans classification, peripheral nerve injuries. Card test, Igawa or Froman sign and even book holding test, they are all to check the ulna nerve. Pen test is for median nerve. Weak OK sign or even it's also called as Kilo Nevin sign. It is for anterior interosseous nerve. Cock up splint is for radial nerve. Wrist drop will be there. Knuckle bender splint is for ulna nerve. Claw hand will be there. Please comment down below if you know where the aeroplane splint will be used. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more NEAT PGO NSI revision videos.